Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I've got news about Emma and her babies. I've, she's got one baby so far. Today was the day that she should hatch, start hatching. So she'll sit on the nest probably another day or two and then when she decides that if no more are hatching that she will get off the eggs. But she got one baby. It's a yellow baby. I, she, I went to go to touch it and she snapped at me. So. There's no checking these babies to see whether they're boys or girls. So I have to wait and see whether they crow or not. Okay, today I had a shout out done from Susie from Out West Homestead. Susie talked about me. She says I'm in her gossip column. Well, Susie, you're in my column today too. I don't have the gossip column, but I do have a Susie column. And it's Susie and Bill, their husband and wife, and they live in the southern New Mexico. I'm going to look at my notes a little bit, Susie, because I don't want to mess anything up that I have. Because a lot of times I get talking and I jump around and then I don't know what I've seen or not seen and what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about because I've gone off my list. Okay, they have chickens, horses, and donkeys. And they have several dogs. Um, one of their dogs likes to hunt rats. And one dog she just started calling it a snake hunter. I don't know if it always liked hunting snakes, but it does. And her dogs, I have to look down further on my, I'll put my finger there so I don't lose my track, because I did put this in after. I want to tell the names of the dogs. The dogs are Ben, and he's a very old dog. Sonny, and Sonny is the rat catcher, the mouse catcher, and Belle. I don't know what Belle does. If Belle, Belle is kind of, Belle comes to her name which is she's doing very good when they call her because she's a lively little, she's well, she's a big dog, but she's lively. Um, Susie tells her stories, she does her porch stories. I like her porch stories because that's where she talks about things that just come into her head. And um, they're interesting stories because it's like you're almost sitting there right with her and listening to her tales of her area. Um, when she starts talking, you always hear this squeaking sound, and I often wondered, what was that squeak sound? Well, one day she said that that was, was her guineas. They, every time she talks, they start talking. And what it sounds like in the video to me is what I was thinking is, is a, it sounds like a swing, like a squeaky swing sound when a swing is swinging. Well, the guineas are making that noise. And so, um... Let me turn the page if I have anything else they work on what do they do on their on their channel well I saw Bill on the roof the other day he was fixing some um, where the so that the rain wouldn't come in he was he was putting a, a sealer like stuff on the nails and the seams he was doing that and he works in the garden he's a very hard worker he's always seems like he's doing something he was digging trenches one day because they were hoping to get rain and they wanted to direct the rain to go so that it would get to the plants. They have a few forest gardens. And um, he scouts the desert and there's coyotes and sometimes you see the coyotes in the, in the, in the um, video with where, and the dogs will start to go and he'll call them back and they come back. And he's on the horseback when he's riding through that, doing that. They were also making comfrey tea to um, water their plants. Apparently comfrey is a very potent potent um, plant. It's good for a lot of things. I was I tried reading up on it a little bit because I was wondering if comfrey grows here and apparently it grows in my zone but I don't I don't know what it looks like so I'd have to go to a um, greenhouse and buy a comfrey plant in order to know what comfrey is because I really don't know. She also mentioned that she liked my magic mirror. She didn't have a magic mirror to look in. But I'm going to look in it and guess who I'm going to see? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Susie. I see you. Yeah, I do. You're on my radar today. I want to tell you I've enjoyed the talks. And I was, hope I was wondering, how is your knee? You had fallen on some rocks and that uh, damaged the knee and you're ho hoping to hike up the mountain and as soon as that knee is healed. Also, I want to say I'm sorry that you lost your rooster. That was um, 
forgot what his name was. I wrote it down, but I forgot what it was. Oh dear, Red John, I think it was maybe something like that. Let me see. The rooster, yeah, Red John. I, I got it right. Wow. I'm always amazing myself when I remember something that is, it's not, it's not from my, from a long time ago. It's just from a short time ago. But um, I, I amaze myself that I remembered. Well, Susie, I also have to call out somebody else that mentioned me today. Actually, I was mentioned two other times. Can you believe it? Oh, my stars. I was watching AJ, and um, he said that he, he likes my channel, too. And I watch him because he does worms. I'm really interested in worms. I like bugs. I guess I'm a bug girl. I like bugs. The only bugs I don't like are spiders, and they can they can stay away. If I step on a spider, I actually apologize to it. When I see other bugs, I will place them to where they're safe, unless they're a real nasty bug. But I don't know any nasty bugs other than spiders. I just don't like spiders. I don't like snakes, which I'm glad I don't have rattlesnakes. And I don't like mice or rats. Thank goodness you have a dog, a, a dog that likes to catch him. My dog will chase around, but I don't know if he would catch it. I know he would chase it. He, he acts, he's a better mouser than my cat. And I was also mentioned, not only by AJ, and AJ's channel, I should tell you what his channel is. Um, AJ's Green Topics is what it is. He's got the Red Wigglers is what he does. He, he, he also does some gardening. And um, he also has um, these towels that he talks about, the microfiber towels, the Nor Norwest, Norwest, Nor Norwest microfiber towels. He talks about them, too. But I was also mentioned on um, Mike's channel, which was Carnomad. Carnomad is a keto, well, he used to be keto. He's, he's, um carnivore now. I had to think, what, what the heck is he? He is carnivore. Yes, he's carnivore now. And he was he was talking about how he was trying to, people have noticed that he's he used to be a plump fella and now he's not. And they wanted to know what he has done. And he was telling about how they would ask, but they really don't want to hear it because they think that everything he says was going to deprive them. When in reality, it would make them healthier. But he, he's a carnivore. Um, I, I'm not a carnivore. No, I'm, a, I'm doing keto. But I, I'm, a, I'm sort of, I'm on maintenance, so I can kind of cheat a little bit, as they call it, cheat. I don't call it cheat. I just say eating my food that I like. But, yeah, I try to watch just the carbs. The carbs are what I watch. I don't watch calories at all. I just watch the carbs. Well, Susie, I'm going to put this mirror down. So I hope you have a really great day day and I hope you enjoy your evening I don't know when you'll see this oh and oh 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 I have to tell you before I go when Bob when we were on Bob's live this morning um, he had mentioned about these covers that you can turn them over well let me show you I'll put the mirror down I'll show you he he whoops I gotta push the button he said that if we turn them over they'll screw back in look at that they do, and you don't have to push the little tab down. But you know what? I don't mind the tab. The tab actually, it's pretty easy. It's just gotta make sure I put it on straight. There, it's on straight. But you push down the tab, and when you don't push down the tab, it won't open. Push down the tab and it opens like a breeze. But you can put these upside down. He mentioned it, and a few others in my comment mentioned it. I never knew that. And also, now like if you, say you, say you, I had to serve you the medicine, I could put your pill in there, I could, I could, um, this is my antibiotic. I could, whoops, you know, I don't want to poison you, I don't want to kill you. I could put your pill in there, put the cap on, and hand it to you, and you could take your medicine, and I didn't even touch it. How do you like that? That's pretty good. Well, thank you, Bob, for telling us, and you know what? Your live went really good today. I think it did, and you had a fair amount of people that showed up, which was even better because you're a very popular fella. 
And Susie, you're a very nice lady. You, and every time I watch you, I tell my husband, you, you remind me of my mother-in-law, which is a good thing. She was a very kind, kind lady, very kind lady. And it's the way, I think it's your, it's your voice, I think is what I really, I really um, am connecting with. You, I think, are built like her too, in a way but not really. Your hair reminds me of hers, um, but you remind me of her. Well, I guess that's it. I, I didn't make you laugh today. I'm sorry. I had nothing funny to tell you. Jim's not here. He's actually gone to mow the lawn at the apartment house. He said if he didn't do it soon, it would get bad, and he uses a push mower when he's over there. That's where I used to use the electric mower. But um, he goes over and he uses the gasoline mower, and then he'll come back here, and maybe tomorrow he'll mow our lawn. It takes him about, oh gosh, a good three to four hours of mowing. It's a long, it's a long mow. And yes, people, um, Susie mentioned that I burp. I do burp. I burp very bad. Uh, right now I don't feel one, but if I felt one, it would be a sad, sad burp. It's right after I eat. Um, I burp really, really big. Or if I'm thinking of food and I'm not hungry, I will burp. So burping is, is it's, it's a trademark, I guess. I have uh, what to remember me by. That's so sad. Not, oh well. Well, I guess that is it for today. I will have to say goodbye. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye.